What's happening, people? Welcome back. It may at times seem like we're utterly inconsequential and insignificant in the grand and even in the small scheme of things. But I believe that view is only true, tenable, possible for people that define themselves exclusively in limited terms, in political, social, cultural, or economic terms. If we think broader and deeper, especially physically, and think about forces that travel at the speed of light like electromagnetism and gravity, by the time we're two years old, we have technically, factually, and actually impacted the entirety of our solar system, whether we want to or not, whether we are aware of that or not. Quite literally, from the time we separate from our mothers to the time our bodies decompose, a sphere of gravitational and electromagnetic influence emanates from us at the speed of light, affecting everything in its path to a non-zero effect to a non-zero degree. By the time we're 100, we will have affected everything within a 100 light year sphere range distance and that can include up to 70 80 stars and hundreds of planets so this isn't nothing 100 light years is only one one thousandth of the galaxy's diameter so this isn't close to granting us universal impact but what it does do is let us know that we can't ever be truly fundamentally and absolutely insignificant the universe will know you existed and you will be felt in some way not only will you be felt you may also be remembered as well that is, if our understanding of the holographic principle and information theory are close to correct. If they are, then every state that you call your life, everything you've ever felt, known, thought, seen, and done, and everything else that's ever happened in this universe down to the quantum level will be permanently recorded on the two-dimensional boundary of this three-dimensional sphere or three in hypersphere if we believe in higher dimensional topologies. A mathematical boundary at infinity turns out not to just be useful for doing calculations in physics, but maybe as real as the physical universe it contains. It may encode that universe as a hologram on its surface. Let's unpack that. Stack a bunch of Poincaré disks, each representing an instant in time. They give you a cylinder with two spatial and one temporal dimensions. Let's call that two plus one dimensions. Here's the crazy thing. Every point on that flat surface maps to a set of paths through the hyperbolic interior. Remember those circle arcs? Patterns on the surface define the structure of the interior. The hologram part is because the lower dimensional space can be thought of as an infinitely distant boundary of the higher dimensional space. Every particle, every gravitational effect in the bulk is represented by quantum fields on an infinitely distant surface. So despite how we may at times feel and think about our political, social, cultural, and economic self, a more true self in terms of consistency over time. The physical self can never be absolutely insignificant. In fact, we are perfectly equivalently significant with anyone that's the same age and same mass as us in these terms anyway. This is just food for thought, but I think it's important to remember what feels true and what we think is true compared and contrasted against what is actually true in a more fundamental and broad sense. You may not be what you think you are and you may not be what you feel you should be, but you're not nothing. You never could be and you never will be. But that is my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, especially if you have any questions or anything to further this video or add. Like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and I will see you on the next one, maybe tomorrow. But either way, thank you for watching this one. You have a great day. Take care, later.